Hey there, everybody. In this episode, we are going to add the train track to the assembly. So let's hit insert and other, and it should be in your train folder. And mine's just called track with my initials. I'm just going to place that right there and hit OK. All right. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a planer mate and I'm going to click on the um, side of the train body with the side of the train track and that lines it up and it makes it like flush we want to offset that and I think we want it to be negative 0.07 if I remember right double click on that I put okay negative 0.7 that looks better. Okay. Hit the green checkbox. Flip this around. Now, obviously, it doesn't want to look like that. So I'm going to drag this slightly below there. And I'm going to grab the planer mate again. And I'm going to go to the top of the train track with the bottom of the train car or the train body. And we want to offset that be negative 0.45 there we go you can see it's barely touching okay now the train doesn't move but the track moves so we want to we want to switch that around so i need to go to the train body and i need to right click on that and i need to unfix it I need to go to the train track. I want to right click on that and I want to fix it. Okay, so now the track stays, but the train moves, I think. So it should. Maybe there's a little lagging. I'm making a video and I'm trying to get it to work. So I'm going to blame it on that. Um, another thing you can do is um, you can add a planer to get it to move to the back of the train body to a flat part. Let me zoom in. There we go. To there, and we'll make that flush and hit the check mark. There we go. Now, now it stayed. All right. So this is is almost done. We're going to add one more animation. And another thing you can do is you could say, hey, let's do a linear pattern of, let's see, of this part. And we want to go in the direction of this line. And we want to change this distance 12. Because if I remember right, that's the distance of the train track. And I can double click this and I can say, instead of having two, let's have three. And there we go. We can have the train go down the track. Now, heads up, before you save your work, you could change that three to another number. Now, if you go too much, your computer is going to lag. Maybe even the website might crash. So be careful with this. I'm good with like three to five. So let's add some more tracks to your assembly without crashing your computer. Let me know if you have any questions uh, and uh, good job.